Fatigue is a term used to describe an overall feeling of tiredness or lack of energy. It isn't the same as simply feeling drowsy or sleepy. This is what makes fatigue driving extremely dangerous. Experts say about 20% of road crashes are caused by drowsy driving or driver sleepiness. As humans, we need to sleep. Sleep is not a matter of choice. Doctors say it is essential and healthy to sleep for the required number of hours. Missing one or two hours of the recommended seven hours sleep a night nearly doubles the risk of a road crash. Reports have it that the longer one remains awake, the greater the need to sleep and the more difficult it is to resist falling asleep. Driver fatigue is a particular problem for long distance drivers because they normally drive long hours without rest. Drivers are normally aware when they start feeling sleepy and instead of making a conscious effort to stop and rest before continuing, they try to fight off sleepiness while driving. Fact is, sleep will surely and eventually overcome the driver. Some drivers who spoke to GBC News were honest about others' attitude. When you get tired as a driver, you need to rest. You ask the passengers to get tired. Some drivers, although they look tired, refuse rest, and this is the cause of many of the accidents on our roads. Sometimes they are our work sometimes pressurizes us to overlook tiredness due to some hardships. Lack of sleep, some drivers say, is not the only cause of sleepiness. General health, alcohol, and in some cases, drugs are major contributing factors. We drive any obeda or kaka. It's a normal baby. So, yeah, we need to do. I say the roads are bad and needs to be worked on. Fatigue driving does not only come with the intake of alcohol. Some take drugs. The private cars and the PP as an original. Oh, no other. Oh, and then yes, some kuana dava for no more free lunch any banana no more. Oh, my friend wrote a more near their day. Oh, my friend wrote because oh, oh, banana was so unfair. A drobia obey to the dia. Oh, but to car not to me. And some just all betty sent to an anum. Oh, but you know, oh, fair draw. Oh, betty sent to an anum. You'll be all crying in the bed. You are a monk on a ticket. Oh, moon, we near that do. Most drivers involved in sleep-related accidents deny having fallen asleep. This may be due to embarrassment, fear of prosecution, or loss of insurance indemnity. Experts have identified frequent yawning, tired eyes, increased blinking, drifting into other lanes, and difficulty in maintaining mandated speed levels as signs of fatigue or sleep driving. Though not to be encouraged, some of the drivers said they have employed some strategies that help them fight sleep whilst driving. When I feel tired, I buy cold water to rinse my face or park my car. I try to find ways, although I feel tired, to get my passengers to their destinations safely. For all intents and purposes, it goes without saying that more education and awareness creation drive on the dangers of sleep driving is essential.